Hi everyone, it's Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're having a great day. Well, it looks like I'm still on a teddy bear high. So today I am making this adorable St. Patrick's Day themed card. The product that is featured in today's video is by Penny Black, their Irish Luxe stamp set. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to bring in my Misty stamping tool and I'm just lining up my image to where I want to place it. I'm going to then ink it up and stamp my image on my card panel. Next up, I'm going to stamp the same image on some masking paper because later on in the video, you will see that I'm going to need to cover up the image. Don't want to give too much away now, but just stay tuned. Next up, it is time for some coloring. So I am bringing in my Ahuwu markers to complete this next step. So I'm just gonna turn on the music. So just sit back, relax, and I will check back in with you in just a moment.
Now that the coloring process is done, I am taking my masking paper and I'm going to cut out my image. Now here's the key to this. You want to cut out on the line, not outside of the line, because with this next step, I'm going to be bringing in some ink and I don't want there to be a white shadow around my image. So I'm just lining up my masking paper to match my image and I'm going to give it a good press and then it'll be on to the next step. Next up, I am bringing in Distress Oxide's Tumble Glass and my blending brush, and I'm just going to apply the ink to the outside of my image. Now that I'm done, it is time for the reveal. So I'm bringing in my reverse tweezers and I am just lifting my masking paper. See, I love how it turned out. Next up, I'm bringing back in my Misty Stamping Tool because I want to heat emboss my teddy bear image. So I'm bringing in my clear embossed ink. And before I apply it, I just want to make sure that my stamp still lines up correctly with my teddy bear image. Then I'm going to ink it up, give it a good press. And now I'm bringing in my clear embossing powder. Now I'm going to sprinkle the powder on my image. And to remove the excess powder, I'm just going to tap the back of the panel and also use a dry brush. Next up, it's time to bring in my heat tool to activate the powder. And there it is. See how it's all glossy and shimmery and shiny? Just what I was looking for. Now it's time to assemble my card. So I'm bringing in my card base, a black panel, and my top panel that I was working on. So I'm just taking some foam tape and I'm going to apply it to the back of my top panel. This is just to add some dimension. I'm then going to apply it to my black panel. And I'm just lining it up and then I'm gonna give it a good press just to make sure it's secured. Then from there, I'm bringing in my Tombow adhesive glue and applying it to the back of this panel. And then from there, I will apply it to my card base, which is 110 pound cardstock, cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half by Recollections. So I'm just giving it another press just to make sure that everything is secured. Now I'm taking my card back to my Misty Stamping Tool and I'm just applying my sentiment to the inside of my card. Next up, it is time to add some splatter to this card. So I brought in Perfect Pearls. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the powder with some water with my brush. And then I'm going to take my brush and just tap away. Ta-da! 
this card is done. And I loved how it turned out. I just love it. But you know, I could not leave you hanging without giving you another option. So I made another card off camera and this time I just added shamrocks and I did not stamp the inside. So that's an option for you as well. Which one do you like? The one with the shamrocks or the one without? As always, I thank you so much for tuning in. I am forever humbled and grateful for you. Don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up button and the notification bell and share this video with someone. Check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. Remember, self-care is the best care. So until next time, please take care.